Uh, we're on Drive Time with me, Cathy Dyson. And me, John Hebden. And it's BCB 106.6 FM. Over to you, John. OK, so um, I'm no historian, you understand, but I believe that the uh, British Civil War was the beginning as a parliamentary democracy. Some people think that parliamentary democracy is crumbling at the moment and may only last a few more weeks. But anyway, uh, Bradford Cathedral are uh, celebrating... Um, the local manifestations of the uh, English Civil War uh, next Tuesday uh, with a special um, uh, day of activities. I'm very pleased to say that we can speak to uh, Maggie Myers, who's the Director of Education and Visitors at Bradford Cathedral, about that day. So good afternoon to you, Maggie. Good afternoon, John. So what what are you up to next Tuesday? Um, Well, in the holidays... We usually have a day or two in the school holidays where families can come into the cathedral and do activities between 10 and 2. So we decided next Tuesday to go to make it a theme day. Um, And there's quite a bit, you know, the cathedral was really, really important in um, several actions during the uh, English Civil War. So we thought we might just might just sort of uh, do a little bit about that and, and let local people know a little bit about it. Okay, so um, I, I've got, I see reference here to the, the, the Siege of Bradford that's right, and the yeah. famous Battle of the yes. Steeple. I mean, that <laughs> sounds like it was quite close to the cathedral, that one. Yeah, so on our um, cathedral badge, on our cathedral coat of arms, we have a wool sack, we have some cross keys, which it's the Cathedral of St. Peter. Yeah. So we have the cross keys, that's a symbol of St. Peter. But we also have something that maybe looks like a little cushion to people or a little pillow, but it's actually a wool sack. And that's because of something that happened during the English Civil War. Um, Bradford was involved in five skirmishes during mm. the Civil War and was on the parliament- parliamentarian side. Right. Um, and in uh, one or two cases, um, obviously the, the, the cathedral, Bradford Parish Church as it was then, was really the, the key building in Bradford at that mm. time in 1642, 1643. And the, the royalists were wanting to, you know, set their cannons on it and, and destroy it. Mm. Um, so the famous story um, that happened was that the people of Bradford hung wool sacks around the tower of the cathedral. Right. Um, so that, so their wool sacks, so that when the, the cannons fired in order to destroy the, the tower, uh, the, the, the blows were cushioned um, by, the, by the wool sacks. Was that successful? So, well, at that particular time, yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, yeah. great. So it, Good it, thinking by somebody. Not, yeah. Absolutely. The yeah. tower was not, they didn't have much uh, in Bradford, but they had a lot of wool at that time. <laughs> okay. They didn't have a lot of guns hot cannons yeah. but they had a lot of wool so it was very very good thinking yeah so they they strung up lots and lots of wool sacks all around the tower that you that you still see today that's there yeah. and um yes on that particular occasion uh, it, it was successful um and that's all tied in the the action that happened at bradford cathedral is all tied in with bowling hall as well and the white lady and the um you know the idea of pity poor bradford so it bradford cathedral was the site of quite a bit of action um during the 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 civil war that involved bradford so we just thought a lot of people don't know why we have a wool sack on our badge a lot of people don't know that the cathedral was this you know the center of this activity between the the royalists and the parliamentarians so we thought you know why don't we why don't we tell the children and the families of bradford a little bit about that so are you going to be firing cannonballs at the, uh, at the, at the cathedral <laughs> well, on Tuesday? <laughs> as it happens, um, no, we've got a cathedral festival on the 15th of June, um, and that's an open door event here. Um, so that's a, a, a different thing that I, that I came on to talk about. But that's something coming up where we've got um, sort of some uh, people from a reenactment society coming oh, okay. um, to talk about what happened. Um, they can't actually do a reenactment now because um, with health and safety laws as they are now, yeah. the, the site itself is too small right. to actually have any proper reenacting. But it has been, it was done in the 1990s, I believe. Um, and we have some f- lovely photos of the last time there was a proper sort of reenactment. <laughs> And they did, hung, they did hang wool sacks from the towers. Yeah. So we are hoping that we might hang some wool sacks up on the 15th of June. OK, that, that's Tuesday, all the 15th of June. We, 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 the, the, the news is, the five o'clock news is pressing us, Maggie. Right. Um, so just give us a quick rundown on what's happening specifically yes, on absolutely. Tuesday then. So on Tuesday, okay. you can come in anyway with your children, whether you want to do Civil War stuff or not. There'll be colouring. Right. There'll be lots of explanations. I will do guided tours um, at 11 and 1, and I'll really sort of pick out the Civil War stuff but also show them other historical stuff 
And basically, it's just a really lovely, it's such a historical building, and people just don't know, you know, there's loads of William Morris stuff as well. So just encouraging families and people to come down, and we'll be there, and we'll be there to tell them all about what we've got inside the cathedral and, and its rich history. It sounds really exciting um, and yep. good for you for yep. celebrating it in that way. Have a great time on Tuesday. Thank you very Maggie. much. And Thanks thank very you much for having for t- me on. Okay. Thank you. Pleasure. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye.